Hello and welcome! In this video we're going to make a round stick planer. A round stick planer. A few weeks ago I had to make um, uh, handles for a closet on a million yard. But that's not important. I had to make handles for a closet that were 12 millimeters in diameter and 70 centimeters long. That's quite a distance to do with your skew and so thin. So I borrowed a round stick planer from a friend of mine. Here I have two. This one, this one. Um, and just the other week I needed a, to do the same, but then in 15 millimeters. And next week I will do uh, the same in 16 millimeters. So I thought, might as well do a video then. Let's make a round stick planer that makes you sticks from 16 millimeters. So you can make your own walking stick or you, can you make your own dowels or whatever. As long as long and round, you can make it. We start with making this uh, 16 millimeter hole. And we need, well, almost forgot, we need wood to do that. Um, as you see here, the hole is not in the middle of the wood because we need the length of the knife. So let's put this in the chuck. Like I said, not in the middle. Hats of lots. 16 millimeter drill. And we drill a hole, slow speed. We're through. So there's our 16 millimeter hole and I have to make it a bit wider over here because there's going square wood in here and there comes round wood out of here. So the hole needs to be a little bit bigger on this side. To do that I use a little scraper like this and this scraper is uh, I, I, I took some material away over here because otherwise it wouldn't be able to go in this very small hole. Okay, I have to pay attention of course that not to make the uh, hole on the back end here that I don't make that one uh, bigger. It has to stay 16 millimeters because my round planer stick, my stick round planer, my round stick planer has to stay 16 mils. And here you probably also see why there's an, another line over here. I sharpened it on the front end and I took some material away over here so that only a small part of the scraper that is, is a sort of a guidance for me along the inner wall of this hole. Well, you'll see. Now I have to look into the hole to see if I'm going in in a straight line, almost. <laughs> oh. 
Okay, let's see if we have a straight line. Let me put some extra light in there. And... Oh, that'll do. Next two steps is make two handles and let the knife um, fit in. So... What shall we do first? Um, uh, let's make these handles first. I'm so happy with my new toy. You made it yourself? Uh, no. You bought it? Yeah, I bought it for the web shop. <laughs> Look, it leaves a, a very small square over there. Um, so that's easier for me to determine where the center is. And I can pop. Same on the other. Oh, please. I didn't Same on, do anything. Same on the other side. <laughs> Got it. It's like CrossFit. And uh, let's say seven and a half centimeters. Seven and a half centimeters. Doesn't have to be that precise, of course. Let's give these handles a nice shape. 's good enough now we do the same on the other side
clean up this one. And now I make this a bit round off. Let's do some sending, slow the speed down. And now we come to the most important part. Make the surface for the knife to lay on. Uh, how do we make that surface? Well, it's not that uh, difficult, but what is important that you have to end with your knife here exactly on the diameter of this 16 millimeter hole. So the surface that we're going to saw into this block of wood um, has to be on the tangent of this circle tangent of the circle is the line that just touches the circle and that's it. This angle I have to make on the other side as well. So let's first uh, take this angle There it is Because the hole of course is bigger here From the middle of the from the middle of the hole, so this is going out in this line. So let's make the surface of the knife. It's got nothing to do with turning, so I'm not very good at this. Just using my hand saw here to make a few cuts. And saw until um, at both lines. I never know where to look. Do I have to look over my glasses or, <laughs> or in the reading part? Take your time and don't let anybody rush you because, for instance, your cam girl wants to be home for dinner or something like that. It's not important, it has to be flat. And it's not easy being flat. Uh, 
Are you starting about my belly again? Stop grinzing. Good. Uh, let's get the knife in. Here is the knife. And let's look if it is flat. Pretty flat, I think. Yeah, well, you can see I cut too deep over there, but that's not that important. It's, it feels as if it is okay. Let me take the corners off here. And just send it a little bit. This is about the position of the knife and if I want to drill a hole to mount it, it should be on the cross. Oh, by the way, if you mount, if you uh, drill this hole, make sure that you perpendicular to this surface. So not, uh, well, perpendicular to the service you just made. and the nut cool. so there's room now to adjust the knife just a little bit in case it won't cut properly which could be very well the case. But let's first try. If I'm lucky, it will work straight away, but I don't think so. I'll, I think we have to make some adjustments. Let's see what we get. Yep, we have to make some adjustments. You see it's cutting, but you also see that it, if I start the lathe now, I can't get in deeper. So, as you see, it is burned over there, so I have to make a bit of adjustment. I can do that over here, but I think I can manage with just uh, changing the position of the knife a tiny little bit. I can now slightly increase the speed. Also, the last part, well, there's a crack in there. I don't know if it's going to work. Now I will draw my jig towards me and the lathe, of course, has to spin in the other direction. There we go. Don't know if, it's go, if it works because of the crack in the wood, but we'll see. Thank <laughs> you. 
it works. And ain't that nice shavings? It's wonderful. <laughs> Let me send this for a minute. And if what we did, in fact, is we, we made a big pencil sharpener. And it works very well to make your own dowels. While I send this little part in there, um, well, it's finished. Lise, we're finished. It's, um, it's a great thing, <laughs> Super. That's it. Make your own dowels or a walking stick with your huge pencil sharpener. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye bye. bye.